Hello, my name is Ville Pohakka. I am 24 years old, Finnish dairy farmer. Our farm is located in Finland, North Karelia. Uh, it's the uh, most eastern part of Finland. And my hometown is called Ilomantsi. Uh, and my farm uh, is located on south side of a pretty big lake named Koiter. Main business of our farm is to produce milk. We have 60 milking cows and one milking robot. We produce now something like 600,000 kilos of milk. We have 100 hectares of field and maybe 150 hectares of forest. Uh, on fields we produce only grass to our cows. We don't have any grains. Uh, we buy all the grains to, for, to feeding uh, from feed industry. And in forest we don't do mm, lots of work our, on ourselves. Uh, we do only our farm works. I'm not doing all this alone. Uh, me and my girlfriend, we take care of daily routines with cows. And uh, I do the most of field work. Uh, we have family companies, so my father still works on the farm. Not every day, but uh, sometimes. Uh, he does the most of uh, paperwork and he does all the fixing fixing of machines and uh, buildings when something breaks up. It's fun, but it's true that our farm is uh, the most eastern uh, automatic milking system farm in whole Europe. In future, I think that uh, the farms will keep getting bigger. And when your farm gets bigger, it means you need to have skills of uh, farm management and leading and stuff like that. Uh, that's my own situation because I'm dairy farmer. Um, it would be nice to invest to another milking robot or something like that to double our production to go to one robot to two or three robots. But because in Europe there's so much overproduction of milk. I'm not going to do that now, not in five years, I don't know, maybe ten years. I don't know what's the situation. Um, on 2030 but the one thing I know is that farmers should produce something that people will buy so it's stupid to produce something that people won't buy and then complain about uh, bad prices or stuff like that and because of uh, milk overproduction, I need to fo focus on uh, making the best possible profit uh, with uh, currently available production and all stuff I got. Uh, that's how I keep my business good for the future. So that was a little introduction about uh, me and uh, my farm and uh, what I think about future. Uh, thank you for listening.